Hello, everybody. Um, we're going to practice now the present tense. We've been doing um, your present tense with all the verbs. A of verbs, E of verbs, I of verbs. We've done a boot verb, remember, jugar. And um, we've also done, <coughs> excuse me, we've also done uh, some semi-regular verbs like salir, salgo, hacer, hago, and conocer, conozco. Only the first person was irregular. We've gone through the endings. I suggest that you have your one note open with the grammar section and your endings in there. That's one thing to do. And the second thing to do to do this activity, either you use a little whiteboard yourself or a piece of paper, something like that. We're going to conjugate and you're going to get immediate feedback to know you got it right. If you get 50, uh, sorry, uh, five in a row correctly, make sure you put it in the in one note, put it in the uh, area, um, collaborative area, because I will give you a um, no sticker, but a merit, so I can put it in the system. So there we are then. So the first thing we're going to do is going to we're going to revamp, we're going to revise is hacer. Remember, hacer was a boot verb, so was a, sorry, semi regular verb. First person was do yes, hago. But we want here is to. To remember was you. It's an ear verb. You always is follow with always has an S. So how would it be? Would be haces. Well done. Okay. Make sure you not take if it's correct. Next one, yo hacer. Come on, we've just been revising this. So that would be hago. Well done. Next one, tú ir de tapas. Remember, ir is completely regular. So how would it be to ir de tapas? Boy would be I go. You go would be Bas, excelente. Next one, yo, salir con amigos. We know this. It's very similar to pasene. It would be sal, go con amigos. Well done. Remember, if I'm going too fast, don't worry. Just press pause. That's, a be that's the beauty of the video. I just don't want to make you really, really, really big. Okay? Yes. There we are. Next one. Nosotros. Nosotros, we. Remember? So how would it be ir and with ir? So we go for tapas. So how would it be? Okay. Vamos, well done. What about ellos? Ellos was they. So how would it be? They go on holidays. Remember, ir is the infinitive. It's an infinitive. Infinitive means you have two in front of it. So that would be van de vacaciones. Next one is to conocer. Remember, conocer is a semi-regular verb. Can you remember? How do you say I meet? I know people. Anyone remember? Conozco. But here you need it to. So how would it be? Conoces, gente. Well done. Next one is ellos. Ellos visitar. So that's they. And, and, and then it's an air verb. Remember, look at patterns. If you remember, if you look at the patterns, the he or she person is either an E or an A. Okay? You know this is an air verb. So it has to be an, an A. And then the they is the same as a he or she with an N. So that way, visitar monumentos will be BC. Done. Well done. Next one, pescar. Really easy. We know this by heart. Pesco. Next one, salir, he or she is not a semi-regular, but only the I person is a regular. So how would it be salir would be sa le. Well done. Tu, ir de paseo. Eh, verbo ir, completely regular. Pas de paseo. Well done. El, ella, tomar el sol. So how would this one be? He or she, toma el sol. Muy bien. Nosotros, nosotros hacer natación. Remember that nosotros means we. We know this. We learned that in the previous lesson. Now, with nosotros, the nosotros always has got mos. So the I always has got O. The tú always has got an S. He or she is A or E. And we is the same as a third person, A or E plus mos. So because we know this is a near verb, has to be E. And then because it's nosotros, has to be mos. So it would be A, C, mos. Okay? Fantastic. Okay, next one. Tomar el sol. Ellos, the same thing. Remember, they is an A of verb. So it has to be an A. Is they has to be an N. So it would be toman el sol. Well done. Next one is nosotros. Nosotros salir con amigos. So how would it be? How would it be this one? Again, it's an I of verb. Sali. Okay, and then it's we. So it would be. Salimos. Well done. Next one. Yo, ir de paseo. Super easy, 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 easy. Voy de paseo. Muy bien. Next one. Yo, visitar. Super easy. Visito. Muy bien. Next one. El, ella, ir de copas. So, 
I put it be this one. He or she va de copas. Muy bien. What about ellos? Remember, ellos, they. Again, remember, ellos, they. E, R. Okay, so we need to have an E, but then it's they. So we need to have an N as well. So it would be. Hacen turismo. Where about sacar fotos? Again, they. Sacan fotos. What about nosotros? Remember, nosotros is you need to look at this and a verb, and a verb, you have an A on E, and then you need to have mos for we. Pescamos. Well done. Yo tomar el sol. Si, sí, please. We know this part part. Tomo el sol. Ellos. Conocer. Gente. They know people. They meet people. How would this be? Conocen gente. What about nosotros? Ir de vacaciones. We. Completely regular. Vamos de vacaciones. Next one. El, ella. Ir de paseo. Va de paseo. El, ella. Visitar. Come on. You have your endings in front of you, and you need to say so one note. Remember, um, in the library, content library, grammar. Visita monumentos. Well done. El, ella, sacar. It's the same. So how would it be? Saca fotos. Next one. Visitar monumentos. Nosotros. Visitamos. Muy bien. What about yo, sacar? Super easy. Saco. Muy bien. Ir de tapa. Ir de tapas. Ellos. How would that be? Eh, muy bien. Pan de tapas. Next one. Nosotros. Sacar. So how would it be this one? A R. Nosotros. We. Sacamos fotos. We take photos. El, ella pescar. El, ella pescar. How would it be? He, she. Pesca. Muy bien. El, ella. Again. He, she. Hacer. It's a new verb. So how would it be? Only the first person is irregular. I remember was I do. I go. Well done. But this one is. Hace turismo, because it's not I do, it's él o ella, meaning he or she. Muy bien. Siguiente, ok. Ellos ir de copas. They van de copas. Well done. Nosotros, hacer turismo. Nosotros, hacer turismo would be, hacemos turismo. Muy bien. Tú, hacer turismo. How would it be this one? Tú, hacer turismo. Haces turismo. Muy bien. Ellos, hacer natación. They. Hacen natación. Nosotros tomar el sol. How would it be? Tomamos el sol. Muy bien. Él, ella, conocer. He or she. Conoce gente. Muy bien. Él, ella, ir de vacaciones. Va de vacaciones. Muy bien. Tú, salir con amigos. Salir. I are. Ok. First person is a reply. How is the first person? I go out. Everybody knows that. I'm a name. Sal. Go. But it's not I, it's you. Sales. Next one. Nosotros. Nosotros. Ir de copas. By the way, ir de copas to go for a drink. Ok. Tapas por tapas, copas, drink. So how would it be? Vamos de copas. Tú, ir de copas. How would it be this one? How would it be this one? Tú, vas de copas. Muy bien. Ellos, ir de paseo. Van de paseo. Yo, ir de copas. Y sí. Voy de copas. Yo, ir de vacaciones. I go on holiday. Remember, that means to go on holidays. By the way, how do you say I tend to? I tend to. Suelo. Tend to. Yes, you say tend to go. Suelo ir. We need infinitive. Why wouldn't you say I go? Voy de vacaciones. Él, ella, ir de tapas. Va de tapas. Muy bien. Tú, sacar fotos. You, you, you. How would be this one? Sacas fotos. Muy bien. Yo, hacer turismo. Easy, easy, easy. First one, hago turismo. Muy bien. Nosotros, ir de paseo. Vamos de paseo. Nosotros, conocer gente. Yes, conocemos. Tú, visitar monumentos. Visitas monumentos. Tú, tomar el sol. Ea, remember, ea, and you. Remember, you always has got an S. Tomas el sol. Yo, ir de tapas. Voy de tapas. Tú, pescar. Pescas. Yo, conocer gente. Ooh, who remembers this one? Who remembers this one? So remember, it's irregular, semi-regular. You can uh, get this one. If you get this one right, you are going to get a, uh, like, it counts as three, right? Okay? So it would be, conozco. Well done. A little bit of intense thought there. Tú, ir de vacaciones. You, ir. Vas de vacaciones. Ellos, salir con amigos. 
salen con amigos, ellos pescar, they pescan, muy bien, and last one, él, ella hacer, how would it be, hace natación, well done, remember, if I did it too quickly, took about 10 minutes, this is not what we would have done in a lesson, quickly to practice, just press the uh, pause, and then just take your time to write it down, remember, you do this, either with a whiteboard, okay, or orderly, up to you, have your end in front of you, there's no problem, with that at the moment, right? So we're gonna do now a different activity. We're gonna put all this now into practice and we're gonna do it now with sentences, okay? We're doing a lot of practice with your endings, um, confidence that you're doing really well. So we're gonna do it now with sentences. So I'm gonna give you a sentence, I'm gonna jumble it, okay? And I warn you, I'm gonna give you the initials and what I would like you to do now is that either orderly or in writing whatever you need at this stage i want you to translate this for me remember you do have the initials you can do it orally it's up to you okay up to you how you do this uh, but you can do it in a piece of uh, piece like in your whiteboard or in a piece of paper okay so i like to see because it is fun so how would it be this one give you some time mm -hmm. it would be me gusta el, sí, el mar, el mar. This is a new word and, sorry, I'm going to come back here in a minute and I'm going to write it down here. How do you say, okay, el mar? So, sorry, guys. El mar means the sea, okay? That means the sea. And so you could you do have the new word in there, okay? El mar means the sea. Write it down in your uh, in your class note, okay? Quite good to say, quite uh, quite good one to know. So once we know this one, me gusta el mar porque es divertido, okay? Again, if you get three, um, you get four right on this one in a row. You will. You need to let me know in the collaborative area in our one note because you will get a merit. Fun. My friend goes from off holiday to Italy because it is interesting. Now, remember, that's not good English. I know that, but this is how we say it literally in Spanish. So how would it be this one? You say it is interesting. We're going to look at different ways of saying this as well in a minute. How would it be this one? Press pause to write it down because the answer is me amigo. Va, va, va de vacaciones a Italia porque es interesante. How would it be? It can be. Now, this is worth another, uh, this is worth a sticker. Okay, so it counts as one, uh, one correct. Puede ser interesante. Well done. Next one. The last day of my holidays, I take photos. Remember the last day. You see in your sentence builder? So remember, if I go back there, you come here, okay, uh, the last, you know, you go the first day, the second day, the last day is there, okay? So I'm just helping you, okay, just to show you that everything is there. I'm not making anything up, okay? So we come back here. So the last day of the holiday, I take photos, okay? So how would it be? Press pause, you haven't done it. The answer is el último día de mis vacaciones. I take saco fotos. Muy bien. Next one. In Spain, when it does hot, I swim and play football. We know this is not correct English, but this is how we say it does hot and uh, it does hot. Remember H C. Can anyone remind me how you say it does hot? Basically, it is hot. How would it be that one? It is hot. Ah. She would be a C, okay? So it would be a C, mm -hmm. okay? She would be, en España, cuando hace calor, I swim, nado, y I play. Juego al fútbol. Well done. Next one. Right, next one is, in Italy, my friend, visits monuments and takes photos. Now, I'm not talking about me anymore. I'm talking about my friend. So we need to use the third person, okay? So remember your ending. So in Italy, en Italia. Remember, you're not ready. Just press this the 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 pause. 
en Italia, mi amigo visita.